if you talk about this conversation again? That's a good question. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Is this a little why I, I love metal? Is this like these guys, a lot of these, you know, singers, they they hood it all. They you know they've been around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I was like, I'm like, and when this you, is fucked up. Yeah, dude, thanks. I'm proud. You know? when, when these singers like pop singer like Taylor Smith or like like my size, you think they these these pop artists have have heard these stories about these grunty ass raw, you know, dirty ass shit? Probably not. No. No. Maybe. Exactly. I mean, you don't know. I don't know, but I, I, I'm saying they're going to say, Oh, that's disgusting! <laughs> Maybe. Well, <laughs> Well, yeah. I'd, how are you feeling, Bill? Man, I'm feeling pretty good. What do, what do you think of the deer carcass fantasy? I, um, I liked it. I li- okay. It, it, uh, I don't know, it made me think. Yeah. About life. It was a piece of art. It, it, it was masterful, is how I would describe it. Okay. That was, it was something else. And I think John was there, and he just doesn't want to admit it. I I think I was there, but I think certain things did not happen. Okay. Fair well, enough. Well, I like to bring something up. What you, when we, when you guys talked about is about having a disability and how people treat you differently. Sure. Yeah. I, I I work at a. I've been grocery. treating John perfectly okay. Well, I, I don't know, John. You don't have any disability or anything. L- he l- says nothing. Well, well, that's just John. Yeah, but you know, Phil has. You know, it's okay to say epileptic. Yeah, things get a little shaky sometimes. Yeah. Um, John. I mean, Bill. Uh, Bill, thank you. That, you know that's why Bill isn't talking because he's offended. He forgot his name. <laughs> Bill is uh can't see very well, and I have a uh but severe LD cancer survival. LD severe LD. I'm bipolar. What's, what's LD? Learning disability. Oh. Okay. And bipolar, learning disability, and anxiety. And every every day I work at Jewel. I thought a, I thought you told me that uh, you're you have like a different autism. No, I I I've been I've been clear. I don't I'm not autistic at all. And you never were. No, and this is like 17 years of people misdiagnosed me. I finally with. So you were diagnosed with it. No, but I've been a real doctor. You said not even close. You have autism. Here, pull out my clip. Not even close. I. You, you, you can just sit back. Just pull it like this. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. The doctor I saw uh, last year, he said not even close. How he could identify. Is a way I can talk and to people. Do do you t- do you think that um, um so 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 when did you start ha- having the because because you, you have medication right you, yes. you don't you don't take medication for learning disability do you it's nothing you can do about that I mean not like uh Ritalin or something it's not Ritalin like Ritalin is for pussies okay yeah I'm not gonna for all for all your Ritalin pussies out there <laughs> yeah but well, yeah you know I, when I've been diagnosed is like I said it's the LD. <laughs> Yeah. Bipolar and anxiety. <clears throat> and, you know, but people talk to me because I'm a bag of a jewel. They're like, I'm a baby. You're like, oh, you're doing such a good job. Oh, good Does, job. Doesn't everybody at Jewel talk like that anyways? No, it's like, oh, they, they'll tell the checker what to do. I was like, I think it was like two months ago. This, this customer was like two feet away from me. Have him do this instead of telling me. It's like. And I told this customer, literally, you know, you could tell me what, how to bag. You don't have to tell the checker. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, and they just talk to me like I'm some kind of retard, and I'm so sick of it. it Did really, you ever complain about it? I talked to the people about it and said you get this deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's every day when, you know, when people with disabilities, they, they're going... They, they well, say, that place takes advantage of a lot of people because of the whole union set up and, you Yeah, know. it's everything else. It's like... And it's like, I'm getting to the point, like, you know, that everybody who has a disability or, you know, completely handicapped or in depth, you know, I, I, I can talk talk to people, I, I actually have a normal, you know, comprehension, I know, you know, how to, you know, normal intelligence, but how much I know, it's like, it's different with somebody who, you know, who doesn't know anything, like, who doesn't know, it's hard to describe, but anyhow. How, how come, um... You never thought about working anywhere else then? I have, but I have applied. I just never got the job. Well, what about like uh, Mariano's or something? No more grocery stores. No more grocery stores. I don't think you're. I don't think they're gonna like to hear that, man. 
okay, if I lose my job, I'll just go to the union. Right. <laughs> and uh, I've been at Jewel for nine years, so it would take a lot for me to lose my job. You I, never want to be like a stunt man or anything? Oh, that'd be awesome. So let me ask you this. In five years, all three of you, what would you guys like to be in five years? Alive. Outside of life. How? No, like job or like say um oh job i don't care i mean as long as i can do as long as i can uh hear nothing for another five years and keep the, no no i mean as long as I, I i i don't give a fuck where i work work is you're not i mean this is not everybody's model but you're not supposed to enjoy work as long as i can afford everything that i love to do go to shows you know just crack fucking laughs and travel. You say that, but but it, it gets to the point with me is it's like I'm not happy with what I'm doing. It's like I who's I, who's happy with their job. My dad, my sisters. Your dad's happy. I, I I've never dentist? seen him smile before. You know, my stepdad. Or maybe it's just when I come over. My stepdad loves his job. He lo- What does he do? He owns his own business. Floyd what, doing doing what? Floyd. Oh, he, okay. Hey, would Bill, you, I put another beer by you if you want it. John, w- thank which, you. Would you ever need you know, anything walk in your house? I can hook you up, by the way, Phil. Ooh. I mean, I don't know. You said you hate him, though. That's why we have... I don't hate my father. That's why we have... I have a stepdad and a father. So which one owns the flooring? My, my stepdad. Okay. The one that lives with you now? Yes. Oh, he's a great guy. You know, he's been so much bullshit. He's not... He real. is a great guy? Oh, he is. Oh, man. I was talking about the wrong guy, then. That doesn't smile. Uh, you, you have to understand that my my stepdad is my dad. My dad is my blood dad. I mean, he's my too gay bill for me. My stepdad is he's too gay. <laughs> what? You're missing what I'm saying. My stepdad is my dad because that's who I see who is my dad. Right. Yeah. Yeah. What I was trying to say, Bill. That translate, Bill. Well, no. So, the person to whom he refers to as. Dad is not his biological father, but rather his stepdad. Okay. But then he also refers to his biological father as dad. So there are two different people he refers to as dad. My stepdad is my dad. You right. guys are fucking with me right now. No, it's not. It's not the first time somebody... I get it. Yeah. Okay. You get what I'm saying, John? Yeah, I get it. Yes. I never get it. <laughs> no, 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 I get it. I'm just fucking around. No, okay. So what is your... You said you don't like your real dad? I do. Is he this, hates both of them? I, I is the don't. truth. I, I I love my stepdad, and respect him. I respect my dad, but I I I just don't love him as much as a, a person who who has a real dad who doesn't have a stepdad. When's the last time you saw him? My dad. I saw him yesterday. So you're your real dad. Yeah. It, it's I didn't, I didn't know. I didn't know you see him that much. Where where is he in Park Ridge? Yeah. Oh okay. So how so what happened? Or do you not want to talk about this? I really don't want to get into that. You okay. know, it, it's a long ass story. And, you know, it's not. It's just not enough time that we have. <laughs> yeah. What's going on? I got to take a leak. All right. Yeah, we could break. Or we can sit here and talk about John while he's gone. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. It's what we normally do, Ross. It's one of our favorite traditions. I thought we don't take breaks. We. I mean. Well, I got to reset. Uh, the Am I doing okay? You're killing you me, Ross. But it's all good. Round two. What's going on? Oh, here. I think I... I don't know. We weren't going to do... Th- oh, you know what? Yeah, this is what I wanted to do. Before we end this episode, we have to fucking do this. Because you know what? Nobody knows who the hell we are. We just hear nothing, see nothing, say nothing. What the... F- people turn this shit on and they're like, who the fuck are you? Why the fuck do you have a show? What the fuck is with these people? You know? So I was thinking, um, how about introductions? Who should... I- I'm going to start with... Who's, I, I don't know, who's going to roll the nickels? <laughs> no. yeah, how, about, how about Bill? What, should I just talk about myself? Here, here. Uh, so where were you born? Uh, Binghamton, New York. What What do you like? What kind of hobbies do you have? I listen to a lot of audiobooks. I drink a lot. I, I talk to strangers. But you can keep it as long as you want. Uh, no, or, or, or I just, just don't have that to. many hobbies. Okay. N- next question. Mm. Uh, do you have anything that you'd like to say? 
gosh. Um, you know what? I think there is. I went to a Friendsgiving dinner over at a friend's place, and I didn't know like anyone there. And we sat down at this table, and someone says, we have to go around and see what we're thankful, thankful for. We have to say what we're thankful for. We'll yeah. go in a circle. And so he starts. And then it goes down the line. And then there's like this very new couple together. Yeah. And you know, like they're very like a like three months in maybe. And the guy's like, well, I'm happy. I have Jenna. And then it goes to Jenna around the circle. She's like, well, I'm happy. I have Matt. And it was just like the stupidest fucking thing ever. Like, everyone's like, "Thank you, everyone, for helping me get through like the, my father's passing. It was a really difficult time. Thank you." And then they're just like, "I'm thankful for you." No, I'm thankful for you. It was like it was fucking stupid. I had a similar situation. We were, uh, I went to my brother's girlfriend's birthday, and I had, I never knew what the hell, what it, what is it called? There's the game password, and then there's. What's that game where you where you you start off saying something and you say it in an ear and, and then you got to see what the last person says? Telephone. telephone. Yeah, telephone. So I never heard of either. And then we were we're at this party, and we just watch me me and my girlfriend just watch Cable Guy where they're playing the password is, you know. I think she got password and telephone messed up because she goes up to me and she goes, Matt is sliding naked under the rock, and. She told me that we're playing Password. <laughs> so I'm at this party. Well, what's Password? Pa- I How is that? Like you get a, it's kind of like charades with words, I think, right? Like they give you a, they give you a word and then you have to describe. And you have to like describe it to people without using it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think it's so much like the $100,000 pyramid or something. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, like I don't know if if the passwords I don't no, know. I, I I got it. Yeah. Got it. So so I I'm, I'm thinking we're like playing password and I'm like Matt trying to get people to guess. Yeah, yeah Matt's sliding underneath the rock naked. I'm like uh so there's this guy he's uh <laughs> somewhere not over in a formation like Grand Canyon kind they're kind of like minerals but and he's doing something there, you, you know. And she's like, y- "You're not drinking anymore," you know. I'm like, "What the?" F-? <laughs> so yeah, there's my uh, on with the quen- questions. <laughs> yeah. So, no, that's uh, a great story. Any any favorite bands, movies, idols? Bands. Favorite fa- favorite band. Top top three favorite bands. Top three favorite movies. Top th- three idols. Okay. All right. So, Frank Zappa. Because nice. I have the tattoo. Idol and band? Um, uh, uh, sure. So, Bill, have you ever seen uh, Zappa play Zappa before? No, I haven't. Um, Is he still alive? No. no. His son Dweezil tours oh, and I plays thought... his stuff. Oh, okay. Zappa died in like 90-something. Okay. Mid-90s. All right, so that's one. I really like Grateful Dead. And... I really like Donovan. Donovan. Yeah. I don't know. I like Who's Donovan. Donovan. More than like Murder by Death? Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, and all right. So those are the three bands. Okay. What are the next ones? Movies. Is that my one? Um, yeah. Pee Wee's Big Adventure. <laughs> I really like the original It with like John Ritter yeah. and Tim Curry. Yeah. Russ- and... I really like ah shit Zoolander 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 which I saw recently and I absolutely loved it it's and, so funny. and I gotta admit Bill I'm I, I just love you too much I think it made me like it more knowing that it's one of your favorite movies because I was like yep I I get the humor because because I didn't get it at first I'm like this is just kind of yeah this is stupid as yeah hell. yeah but no it was really good. We were going to watch the second one, but everybody tells me it sucks. I've never seen it, and I never care to see uh, it. You're not missing that most in the second one. And then Idols. Okay, my... Billy? <laughs> uh, um, my Idols, like, my heroes? Yeah. Like, who I look up to? Yeah. 
my mother. Um, I. God, this is a tough question. Do you know Bosco? Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. There's number two. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure. I guess I'll put Frank Zappa down as one. I'm going to remove Dino Bosco. <laughs> no hard feelings. <laughs> yeah. N- it's nothing <laughs> personal. Um, let's. I don't know. John. Thanks, man. Yeah. I got you, dude. How do you feel today? What is it that made you today? <laughs> who, who you are? <laughs> what? Yeah. What did I feel today? There's I I put a lot of preparation in this. <laughs> how do you, yeah? How do you feel today? And what is it that made you who you are today? Um. Oh, and what's your favorite Barbara Streisand song? Oh, okay. All right. So, so Barbie. It's easy. Stranger in a Strange Land. It's a great song. Um. As far how did too. What is it? As a, that's a book too. Is it? Yeah, I didn't know that was a song. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a Streisand song. I think. I will. What? It's nothing got a song stuck in my head. Oh. Are you gonna sing it? I will right. always love you. Sing the whole thing. I, I, don't, I don't know. I don't think that's a Pablo Slotkin song. No. It's a what? It's not a Barbara Streisand song. Okay. But she might do a version of it, and I bet it's great. Can you do it in a Barbara Streisand voice? <laughs> no, not in my lifetime. Not okay. with that attitude. Um, I think that's it. So, who oh, do we? Wait, I I feel good today. I listened to a lot of a good audio book with a good friend, and I'm hanging out with more good friends. Yep. And it's and that's what made you who you are today. I yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. How about how about you, John? Where, where were you born? I was born in Poland. What do you what do you like hobbies? Um, I like drawing. Anything else? No. I just do the top one. Oh yeah. yeah uh, sure. anything you'd like to say? Say nothing. Do you, any favorite band band movie and idol? Um, Les Claypool. Um, Jamaica. Cool Runnings, and um, Idol, I don't know, let's just go with Les Claypool. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool, then uh, what, what else we got here? Too many puppies, <laughs> puppy and shot and the die, how do you feel, you know what that song is about? Actually I don't, educate me. I guess it, uh, because he, um. He wanted to be a metal band at first. I read about this. It was about kind of like Dogs of War. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like a protest song about like um, just uh, t- too many puppies being shot in the thigh. Mm-hmm. Just too too many people like getting messed up at, from war. I didn't know that. I thought it was about puppies. God damn it. So, uh, yeah. How, how do you feel today? What is it that made you who you are today, John? Well, I thought you were going. What? No, no it's still you. All right. Ask me that again. What, how do you feel today, and what is it that made you that person today? Um, I feel good today. You know, I was excited for this show. That's what made you who you are today? Yeah. Awesome. And anything else you'd like to say? Nope. What about Roscoe? Or should I go? Who who goes first? Should I go? Go ahead. All right. Ross is know. getting ready. Where was I born? Uh, Chicago, I guess they call the area Dunning from what I, I didn't even know that until like this year. Uh, mm-hmm. what do you like hobbies? I like to talk a lot. If you guys didn't, uh, it's kind of skeleton in the closet. I didn't, don't like to talk about. No, I, uh, I, 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 I'm always changing up hobbies because I get bored easily. So I used to like to play guitar a lot and make music then um, I didn't want to deal with people in a band, so I try to make electronic music now. And uh, see what else hobbies. I, I I like being a old fart dad right now. I like starting my no- own family because my family kind of sucks. And uh, yeah, hobbies. I don't I don't know what else. Oh, and I like doing these shows with awesome friends. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. 
It's like friends giving all over again. Yeah. I'm thankful for you. No, I'm thankful for you. I didn't hear anything. You make me sick. Yes. Sorry. Any, any <coughs> favorite bands, movies, idols? I don't know. Favorite bands? I don't know. I'm, I'm always changing up everything. Favorite band right now? I don't know. I've been listening to a lot of the new uh, Converge album. What do you think about that album? I think it sounds fucking great. I thought it was going to suck and go like just because they're getting really big really quick. Mm -hmm. And their first albums are really hard, really. You know, I can't explain it with Converge because it's a I never had a band that I fucking love, but I rarely listen to them. But when you listen to them, when you're really down in the dumps, it's great. It's like therapy. And uh, I don't know what else. I've been listening to Ghost Main, which, yeah, I went with my kid recently. He loved it. He said it was, uh, I asked him if he wanted to crowd surf. He said, um, it's a little spooky. Can we go home? Um, and then. Uh, Did you hit him? I didn't hit him, no. Why would you hit him? It's like. <sighs> I don't know. I was hitting too many other small kids there. I, I, I didn't want to be a bad, you know, role model for him. Sure. So, um, uh, I don't know what other bands. uh Weirdly, I started getting into Gigamesh. I don't know if you guys know who that is. Mm -mm. It's like a, it's like really cheerful electronic music. I, I got into it from Saints Row. It's in, it's in the Saints Row. And then, uh, let's see, movies. I fucking love John Wick. Has anybody seen that here? I saw the second one. I have not seen the first one. Dude. Yeah, I saw I saw both of them. Right. What, 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 is the sec first one better than the second? Um, second one was brutal to watch. I like the second one more. I like the really? one... The, the, yeah. the, the, the best part of the movie I really like when, when he was walking in before he killed the, the, the main boss woman and then the, the badass electronics on he was like not banging his head and then John Wick was killing a bunch of the you know the hitmen and I, and I, was, yeah. I thought that was fucking badass and I really want to see the first one it, it is, was it the first one that much of a intense movie I didn't think so it's about uh, his dog getting killed right yeah the first one yeah it tells you the story of, like yeah, his his dog got killed. Really? Uh, well, and he gets I'd like to say run. thank you, Ross, for spoiling the second one for me. I didn't. I, I did not. He didn't spoil much. Yeah, it was <laughs> just that one scene was badass. You know what I'm talking about, right, John? Yeah. No, yeah. uh, I think the first one is fucking awesome. It's my favorite action movie now. I didn't think they made good action movies like that anymore. Especially, I don't know. Do you guys see? I I felt like they gave a lot of shit to Keanu Reeves. No, you guys never heard that. The last yeah, good movie I enjoyed by him was uh, the. Because he sucks? No. Yeah, he's terrible. I think he's a terrible actor. I mean, there's some good movies that he's in, but I think he's like he's terrible at acting. Yeah, I, I heard it was because they said like uh, when he played Bill in Bill and Ted that like he's just like that in every movie that where he's just clueless. Do I take the red pill or the other one? This is crazy. This is crazy. This is about the Matrix. You know, like so I, I but I don't know. I, I thought he was awesome in John Wick. I actually watched like uh, the making of it today, and it's fucking crazy. He was uh, training eight hours a day to, um, like, like just karate. Started off with the basics, tai chi, judo, you know, basic karate, and moved up. He was doing it for six months to do all that shit, and then eight hours a day, eight hours a day for six months. Oh my god! And then and and they show him doing it, and he's like fucked up. Like he, like it was the funniest because they show like the first clips where he just like can't do a tumble. Which I don't think I could, but compared to how much shit is going on in the movie, it, it you don't even notice it. You know, you don't even think about oh, that's that's kind of hard to do without fucking yourself up. And then the other six months, he had to like do all the gun training and how to handle. But but I think they said like he he knows how to handle guns well or something like he. I figured he'd know how to do all that with the Matrix movies. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it was yeah, because he like I don't know, he's like a gun collector or something. What I what I thought was pretty awesome is he um the uh, the stunt people that were in there were they did all the choreography and the stunts, and it was the actual stuntman for Brandon Lee and the Crow. Like after like when he got shot and killed in the movie, they just used that stuntman, and then they just like computer generated fa uh, face brand for the rest of it. so which i'm like that's kind of cool because that's the action it reminds me of and like the whole tragedy and everything but yeah moving on idols 
Who's my idol? I'm not seeing Dino Bosco I'm at no, all. I'm, I'm nobody's idol. I don't know. I think uh, I really like. Uh, I was I was telling Bill earlier. Have you ever heard of Jordan Peterson? No. Have you heard? No. I I really liked him recently. He he's just uh, really unbiased. He he doesn't have any political stance. He just really uh. He's a uh, doctor at a college in Canada, and he's been he's he's gotten a lot of shit recently because he he's just very uh, Canadian, very Canadian. Blame Canada, no, but um, he he he, he kind of looks at every psychological problem and even every single problem within the world. He looks at it like a mathematical equation. Like this is what you need to change. This is what you need to do. These are your traits. He sort of blueprints you out. And what's even great is there. Uh, my friend at work, I probably I don't know if I want, he wants to mention is he got me into him. He got me like nuts because he uh, he has this self authoring program. It's great. It's uh, I I highly, I don't know Ross if you'd want to do it, but I'm telling you, anybody with anxiety, depression, mm-hmm. even even if they're bored, just do it if you're bored. It's twenty bucks, and you basically they they ask you a series of questions of like what would you do in this? It's very detailed. You got to give a detailed answer, like whatever a paragraph of and and then it it, it just uh, of of an answer to like you know what are your greatest fears? Please write down your most embarrassing moment, and it sort of just puts to get it gets you to know yourself, which is a great thing at our age. I feel like because uh, like one thing he says, you know fucking sad or not but like the new 30 the new 30 years old right now is like what people in their 20s were going through a while back i know and it it makes a lot of sense so i guess i I consider him an idol yeah uh how do you feel today and what is it that made you who you are today um how do i feel today super full and fat from thanksgiving uh i feel like i'm gonna add to this gas cloud in this basement Kelly's going to cry. Yep. Uh watch out when you <laughs> watch out when you light those matches in here. So, um and uh what made me who I am today? I I I I don't know how to answer that. A lot of uh I instead of getting a second chance, I got like 20 chances at everything and I just I keep rambling on like Led Zeppelin told me to. And uh, anything else I'd like to say? I'd like to say, Ross, it's your turn. Ask me the questions. Oh, and Barbara Streisand's song. I don't know. I don't know any Barbara Streisand songs, and I think she's pretty pretty terrifying. I don't know. You think she's pretty? I think she's uh, dead sexy. Mm. You do? Yeah. I hold Are it. you serious? Oh, oof. Oh, God. <laughs> Man, Ross. <laughs> How? What? What's sexy about it? Those fucking lips, man. Those lips? Yeah. What do you think about when you think about those I have lips? No, I'm just fucking with you. I have no idea what she looks like. Oh, okay. Well, thanks, Ross. Yeah. Thanks for fucking with me. I don't believe you. I actually don't know what she looks like. Right, I just know the, the name. Uh-huh. Yeah. What if I told you her lips look like mine? Do you still? <laughs> Does her lips look, look like roast beef? Is that how my lips look like? God I damn think it. you're missing a joke. Like, th- this is a family show here, Ross. Okay. I thought that was uncensored. I missed the joke. I, Ross, can you explain? I, I think he meant like if, like if um she's in anal and she's got some loose like butthole lips. <laughs> Ross, is that what you meant? I was thinking about the blue uh, roast beef lips. But the roast beef lips. No blue, blue, blue lips. Oh, like nuts because he uh he has this self authoring program it's great it's uh i i highly i don't know ross if you'd want to do it but i'm telling you anybody with anxiety depression even even if they're bored just do it if you're bored it's 20 bucks and you basically they they ask you a series of questions of like what would you do in this it's very detailed you got to give a detailed answer like whatever a paragraph of and and then it it, it just uh, of of an answer to like you know what are your greatest fears? Please write down your most embarrassing moment, and it sort of just puts to get it gets you to know yourself, which is a great thing 
at our age, I feel like, because uh, like one thing he says, you know, fucking sad or not, but like the new third, the new thirty years old right now is like what people in their twenties were going through a while back. I know, and it, it makes a lot of sense. So I guess I, I consider him an idol. Yeah. Uh, how do you feel today, and what is it that made you who you are today? Um, how do I feel today? Super full and fat from Thanksgiving. Uh, feel like I'm gonna add to this gas cloud in this basement. Kelly's gonna cry. Yep. <laughs> uh, watch out when you <laughs> watch out when you light those matches in here. So, um, and uh, what made me who I am today? I I I, I don't know how to answer that. A lot of uh, I instead of getting a second chance, I got like. 20 chances at everything and I just I keep rambling on like Led Zeppelin told me to and uh, anything else I'd like to say I'd like to say Ross it's your turn ask me any questions oh and Barbara Streisand's song I don't know I don't know anybody Barbara Streisand's songs and I think she's pretty pretty terrifying I don't know you think she's pretty I think she's dead sexy Mm. You do? Yeah. I hope. Are you serious? Oh, oof. Oh, God. <laughs> Man, Ro- How? What, what's sexy about it? Those fucking lips, man. Those lips? Yeah. What do you think about when you think about those I lips? No, I'm just fucking with you. I have no idea what she looks like. Oh, okay. Well, thanks, Ross. Yeah. Thanks for fucking with me. I don't believe you. I actually don't know what she looks like. I just know the the name. Uh Uh-huh. Yeah. What if I told you her lips look like mine? You still... Does her lips look look like roast beef? Is that how my lips look like? I think you're missing a joke. Like... This is a family show here, Ross. I thought it was uncensored. I missed the joke. I... Ross, can you explain? I think he meant like if... Like if um, she's in anal and she's got some loose like butthole lips. <laughs> Ross, is that what you meant? Oh, I was thinking about the blue roast beef lips. But the roast beef lips? No, blue. Blue. Blue lips? No, oh, fuck it. This is not. <laughs> Man, Phil. I, We're going to get to the bottom of this. You like Barbara Streisand's blue lips. Is that a, <laughs> is that a song named Blue Lips? Or do you like her blue lips? I just like her blue lips. Blue, I've never seen her with blue lips. I, I don't think we're talking about the same body parts. Where else did somebody stab her in the elbow and there's just some lips that are blue there? Okay, go change the subject. Let's go to me. All right, we'll go to the next clip. All right, where were you born? With a general in Park Ridge. With a general in Park? <laughs> with a general. Oh, okay. What What do you like? Hobbies? Besides thinking about the secret blue lips of Barbara Streisand. Um, listening to music, pretty much. So can do. Listen to, okay. Um, how, do, you, do you, so you don't like knit sweaters or anything? Uh, no. Do you play video games? Yes, I play video games obsessively. Okay, that's a hobby. Uh, do you watch football? Ooh, yes I do. That's a hobby. Alright, what else do you do, Ross? Oh, that really is about it. Uh, go to concerts. Okay. Okay. And uh, you, you work at the group? The, not a, never mind. Phil, continue. Sorry. Okay. We, we're not allowed to mention Jewel. Yes, we are. <clears throat> yes, okay, so I work at Jewel. Do you have anything that you'd like to say? Thanks for having me, guys. It's been an honor. Okay. Uh... Any favorite band, favorite movie, favorite idol? I got a pass on on the bands because I listen to way too many bands. Well, what what's your favorite one right now? Because I listen to something different every day. I would really love Dalian Fiatus. Yeah? Yeah, it's just like, you know, I'm seeing them a week from Sunday with my uh, young little sister and her boyfriend. Ugh. It's just so hard when you listen she to She has one. a little boyfriend? He's not little. Oh, I, I'm sorry, man. I just spaced out. What? 
I said I'm going with, with my little sister to see Hey Breed. I thought you said you're going with her sister and her little boyfriend. And her, her, and her brother. Little sister. And, and boyfriend. And boyfriend. Yeah, okay. And the boyfriend is not little. Okay. No. Okay. You just, you're not little, man. We didn't call it. Okay. Yeah. And you, so you're seeing him with your little sister, little sister and her boyfriend. And her boyfriend. Hey Breed and Dying Fetus a week from yes. Sunday. Your favorite movie. Right now, I have to say the, which uh, you know you said you like the Tim um, Takoya it, which I had to comment on that. It it was good, but I I I thought it was kind of a kind of a cheesy humor compared to the newer it. It was brilliant, but again, if you see the newer it, completely different. See, I, I think the original humor was far more subtle and far more clever. Yeah. The newer one is just like, hey, here's another vagina joke. You know, did I'm, you see the newest one? I did. Um, it, oh, that's was that what the blue lips was about? <laughs> I, 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 I don't know. You have no I idea. Know. I don't know. Maybe. Okay. Was it? I what do. Are, I'm, what are blue lips? Ross? What about those blue lips? Yeah, will you tell us? Please tell, I, dude. I was I was actually gonna put like just for you, what. Is one of your sexual fantasies, but you already mentioned the blue lips, so now we just that it isn't. And I'm not a sinner in this. I want to get a dominatrix and get my ass kicked. Ooh, okay. That's always you want to get your ass kicked by a dominatrix. Um, well, is it, is it going to be on camera? Yes, it can be on camera. I'm not open about that. How open are you about that? I'm pretty open. Can we have that as like a bonus feature? You getting your ass kicked by a dominatrix? That's a good idea. I have to say no. That'll go great on a DVD. I have to say no. Some things you have and to. And you got to wear your jewel uniform when you do it. I, I, Grocery store. I, 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 I more have to say no. Okay. Well. All right. So so what 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 do you I don't I don't even know what do you mean get your ass kicked. I like physical pain. I really do. Okay. It's like to me I've been in pain mentally and physically my whole life. So. So you're having a really happy life then if you like it. Yes and no. It's like recently, you know, I've been constantly nothing but in pain. So what of you know these dominatrix can do to me? It's nothing what I've been through. So I would have to say, who, who would you like as the dominatrix? Not Barbara Streisand. I will, you know, no, you have to be. I'm being kind of serious right now. A I'm, being, I'm being serious. A professional who knows what she's doing. Professionally knows what she's doing. Yes. Okay. Uh, like whips and things. Absolutely. Absolutely. Cigarette burns. That's what's in it. Okay. How about like a strap on? That's not no. That's that, not. That's enough. I want to be controlled. I like controlling people. Nobody can control me. You like being controlled? Yes. Well, then the strap on kind of would be. What if you're chained to the bed? You actually like. I want to take it off the butt. I don't want to take it off the butt. I, I, I just told her what I said. You're, you're you're not listening. That's usual, Phil. Well, how do you know what she's gonna do? If she's controlling you. Taking a whip and humiliating me. I want to be humiliated. You know what I'm trying to say? What, what if she calls you mean things? I don't care. I've been to whatever she tells me is what's what I've been told in my life. Has anybody had a dominatrix before? No. No. All right. Since we're on it, I think I I think I made a girl, uh, like slice into my chest with a knife before during sex. Wait, you think you made a girl do that? I mean, I don't know if I had consent. Is what I'm trying to say. That that's because kiss of no, the no, no. I'm no, I'm just no a consent as in like she wasn't doing it hard enough. So I, I want, and then I'm like, oh fuck, you know, like these stains don't come out. So I had to get like a new bed sheet and shit. I didn't think it through. I think the whole fantasy through. No, I and, and I'm being serious. Like I didn't think it through. I didn't think like it would be you know, oh blood doesn't come out and shit like that. So. But, that's a little, I'm a that's a little gray area for me. I'm fine with you know, like getting beat or whipped, but getting cut, not so much. That's just next level in my opinion. Next level of dominatrix. Yes. So you'll get there. Eventually. I don't think I ever do because I don't. I just don't like being cut. I don't even like needles. What's well, so a big reason why I don't have tattoos? I'm actually thinking about getting a tattoo for Christmas. I think you should. I think. I was, Let me ask uh, you guys what? this. It, would you have, if one of you guys, you guys moved to another state, 
Would you rather spend the money on a good friend to go visit him in Alabama or get a tattoo? Tattoo, hands down. Tattoo, hands down. Mm. You're moving to Alabama, aren't you? No, one of my buddies moved to Alabama, and I want to use the money to go visit him. Miss you, Lewis. Lewis? Yeah, his name is Lewis. From 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 Jewel? Oh uh, yeah. Really? Oh. Mm-hmm. No, I don't. No, I don't know. I mean, it... yeah, you know, it, it's funny about Lewis. You know, um, I literally you we connected with you. I thought you'd be the last person I'd be cl- close with. I, I would be the last person. Well, Thank, being good, being good, being good friends with you know, you know. Yeah. And I and this guy started who was your age. You know, he started. You know, he started walking. He he was a checker that went to the front desk, and um, we started talking. You know, we started being you know, and then he uh started we hang out and you know one night we were at our chillers and he said, hey, would you like to go to he- having bodies? And I said, oh yeah. I said yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And I got myself a lap dance. Was it's funny if you remember the first time I got my lap dance. Where was it at with you and and Brad? Was it Hydrate? You don't remember? It was Scores. Uh, no. What was that? Admiral. That place. That uh. What's his face? I just don't want to forget his name. The YMCA. Excuse me. I'm pooping. Um. Carlos. Carlos. Recommend this little skanky ass uh. Bo- you know, ball that, you know, you can get lap dance at. I think it was Admiral. Yeah, Admiral. It was because if fucking Vlad, you know, if, after that, we went to, you know. I'll pull a mic closer. Oh, he, uh, he, uh, we want to go to an extra strip club. He yeah. Pull, he put up his fake, his extra ID. And he had a fake ID. And he's like, oh, shit, this is my real ID. And then you took me, you know, having bodies. And then, you know, that's when I got my foot, actual foot st- strip dance because the one at Amos, they didn't get tapless. They just grinded on you. And then, you know, I, you know, with this guy named Lewis, um, he, um, asked, I got, he got me to get, convinced me to get a lap dance. I did it, you know, about, I think it was two weeks ago. I went upstairs and spent 60 bucks on a lap dance and I got it like 20 minutes and not, nobody since Lewis. Yeah. Got convinced, got me to you know said you know what go for it you know you're comfortable go for it and you know well you weren't comfortable when you did it I was comfortable with you guys but nobody else I would like hey let's go to heaven bodies let's have a good time have some drinks you know how about this Ross what because we're your buddies here right everybody's buddies with the Dino Bosco mm-hmm. how would you feel about us getting you a prostitute I say absolutely not whoa all right why what. What, what if it's a dominatrix and she knows what she's doing? There's a difference. And she doesn't do any cutting. There's a difference between, you know, a dominatrix and a prostitute. And to me, a po- prostitute, all they want is sex. I don't want to have sex. Okay. I just want So you're to- telling me, so you're going to let me save money and just find someone to kick your ass is what you want us to do. And dress in leather. While they're doing it. So I could just get like a Hell's Angel biker. You're putting me on the spot, which I don't know how to answer at the moment. No, I, I, well, I guess what I'm saying is I don't know why you turned down a prostitute. Because I don't want sex. Yeah, but you could do a lot of other weird shit. You could just, like, <laughs> make your popcorn in leather. I, I, I like gothic goes. I like, well, I told you, I like gothic goes with tattoos with leather. That's what I'm into, you know? Okay. I, okay. I was thinking about this Lewis situation. What if you got a tattoo of Lewis? And said, no, no. <laughs> No, absolutely not. I, I like the guy. It's like, I you know, I, you know, I, we want a vacation, man. You know, I, maybe shit will happen when I'm in Alabama and in Lewis. He's all about it. So he's that Ross, give me a, you know. Well, knowing Ross, and and you know how much you don't like, a, you, you, you know, there might be another protest over a statue in Alabama. Dude, I the problem with me going to Alabama and he says, you know, he's trying to be open. I, I visit him. They're so bad down there. They're so close-minded. You know, everything like... What, like rednecks? Yes. Well, he says, you know, that kind of like, that kind of not. But again... By the way, just so, side note, I don't mean to interrupt you. Ross, you're not really racist. We just, we just, you know, I know you wanted to mention this. We just bust balls and we don't give a fuck. We say whatever the fuck we want. Absolutely. Sometimes my ego gets, a, you know, a, you know, a hold of me. You know, yeah. Some in, image thing. But, you know, yeah. I know you guys don't think I'm a racist, but some people over there might not. Just kidding. I don't fucking care. Yeah. I mean, yeah, no, we, I know exactly what you mean. There's going to be a lot of people who just, they, they don't even know why they hate somebody. I don't hate anybody. 
be honest, it's more the religion thing that I, I don't like because I think religions are all about, com you know, playing lots and controlling people. Well, you know, you got to be a Christian to be a Satanist, right? Shut up. You do? Did I tell you this? No. Well, the, okay, so how, how do you be a Satanist? How do you know what to do if you don't read? The, how do you know what to not do if you don't read the Bible? Have you absolutely read the Satanic Bible? Satanic oh, that's that's just a guy jagging off to himself. You know who wrote it, right? Yeah, Anton LaVey. That's just a guy worshiping himself. That's just, that's called having an Whoa, ego. You did read it, so you know I, I was testing you. That, that, that it was bullshit. Yeah, it's just worshiping yourself. Which I do. I do like it. It's it, just it, getting a creepy Felix the cartoon mustache. What I like and, about it is, is like. It's like I, somebody fucks with you. I feel like I have, I can fuck with you back. If somebody like like yeah. somebody like messes with Gavin or Kelly, or you know talks shit or do, do wrong to them, you feel like you have a right to give you know say do something back. Yeah, well that's just being uh, I don't know having a pair of balls. You don't got to be Christians a satanist. Don't feel that valley. Yeah, well yeah exactly. Being a satanist, you got to have some balls, and being yes. a Christian, you got to touch that, some balls. I don't balls. agree with everything what he says, but someone I do. So am I 100 yeah. percent agree what he says? No. Well, I, I thought you meant more like the traditional Satanist. Where no, you... I know what I'm talking about, Phil. I'm not talking about the big red dude with the horns in the South Park movie. No, who's in love with Saddam? <laughs> no. no, I'm not. I I I like the culture of tradition traditional Satanism. Yeah, I, do I think too. I, I love that too. That, that's that's what makes Skyrim amazing when you when you play you know black metal music in the background and you're slaying. I have never done that. That, uh, it's fucking great. That's the only way to play Skyrim. You put some Gorgoroth in the background or some Mayhem. I'm fucking serious. I had that music when I was. Uh, wow, I didn't think about. That's awesome. It is awesome, dude. Actually, you re replay it that way. You asked me who I would love to see in a black metal right now. It has to be Gorgoroth. Gorgoroth is to me a true black metal band. But you know that singer quit. They're, on, they're, they're up to five singers now. Up to five? Yes. Yeah, well, I, I mean, I kind of like the weird guy who kidnaps people. He was great. I, yeah, you know, you know, he did. <laughs> he, it was it, it, he. Uh, he kidnapped somebody and drained the blood. Yeah, drank, yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, yeah. Ball, Gal. How, yeah, yeah. He he. That's that's. Uh, I guess I don't know what you would call it. His. Um, he's he's a whole new type of homosexual. That's the way he explained it. Mm -hmm. That uh, yeah. I, I think we talked about this. Where he uh, did I tell you about this or no, Bill? Maybe. Did yes. I, no, but John. No. Yeah, no. The sing. Okay, so the singer Gorgoroth. Uh, I think they were in the whole church burning, uh, packed with mayhem. Actually, when they, the whole. Well, well, they well they they asked him if he was part of it, and he's like, I, no, I don't. and he's like, well, are you against it? He's like, absolutely not. I support him. So that was kind of badass. Mm -hmm. But no, he um. He, they uh, asked him, I think on like Vice or something. They were like, you know, how do you feel about being in something like a black metal band in a fucking a group that's associated with like, you know, nationalism and, uh, you know, Golganov the, is not a national black. They, metal. they were part of the National Front. They were, or no, maybe they weren't. I, I don't know. Well, well, they just There's felt only <clears throat> like four bands that I know it, it's label that, and and they no, all suck. Yes. Yeah. And, well, uh, he, he yeah no he was just like how do you how do you feel like being gay and being in a in the black metal crowd and he's just like, I mean I don't put up the whole front and the whole uh, you know the the gay that pop culture has of you know being uh, I don't know just super flamboyant and bouncing around and stuff just the stereotypical what you think of a, a gay guy being, he's just like you know I just. He was saying, I think he said something like it's part of him being a Satanist of just conquering another beast that's muscular. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, he, he got hit on at a bar by like a flamboyant gay dude and he just kidnapped him and then drained his blood and, and drank it. Yeah, and drank it. Yeah. So, I mean, we've all been there. Yeah. Do you have so, anything to add about this? You have I mean, no idea what talking about. Have you ever done that, John? I, like it, Bill said, we've all been there. I don't think this is anything. Yeah. really surprising so oh we got any more customs oh no i was gonna say you know you're not gonna get so you're not gonna t get a tattoo of lewis no you know it's, it's like if you got a tattoo what would you get well it's funny that you, you asked like me. since you hate needles and getting stabbed or well, I, mean, I, well, I have to say something i don't what? favor bands i this is what i have to finish yeah i i favor bands that i've been listening to the longest and you know what my 
what I've been, who I actually have a lot of passion for. Say, say the band. Barbra Streisand. No, just say it. Abba. Slipknot. Slip. Okay. Yeah. And the reason why I say I'll get a tattoo for, for two reasons. I've been long, going on 18 years of being a fan of that band. Yeah. Nonstop. And so I, you'd get a Slipknot tattoo? Because it, there was a one reason. Two reasons, actually. Ladies love Slipknot fans. No, because I've been a fan for a long time, and I love the Pinecon logo that they have. You know the one with the circle? I think so. Yeah. And I you know, I see that, and it's like I, it's, most people are not going to know what that, how that is. Can I make a suggestion? What? What I think, I don't really like Slipknot anymore, but if I were you, I would get, you know how they have the numbers on the side of their arm? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, of course I do. And then the barcode? Well, I would get the barcode on the back of my neck or the number on the side of my arm of my favorite member. I don't have a favorite member anymore. Fucking Corey Taylor is a fucking pussy. Whoa. Okay. That, so is it, that what Trump is grabbing? No. Do we have to get into the, the, to the Oompa Loompa? No, no, no. We're not getting it. Get a, uh, can, I call, can, can I call him an Oompa Loompa Trump? You guys get the joke? Yeah. I don't. He looks yellow. I thought he looks orange. Orange, yes. What is the Oompa Loompa from Charles? I guess orange is a shade of yellow. Yeah, he doesn't have a green toupee, though. <laughs> you got you just ruined the joke. Well, That's what I do. That's, that's what, what I, I call him. I, I, call, I can't do stand-up. I, 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 that's what I call him. I call him Oompa Loompa. That's because he, he's yellow or orange. This is the point. Is, you know, um, actually, is even the Pentagon I'm going to get or the S with the two lines? I might okay. Call. okay. And I... And I finally, you know, have enough money. So, to, so you're saying, uh, I don't mean to interrupt you, but you're saying, like, if you hate getting stabbed or cut, if you had to get a tattoo, that's what you would get. That's what not tattoo, absolutely. Would it be, because uh, this is important, would it be colored or just black? Just black. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's me, too. I, I don't like colored tattoos. I don't well, like them. Well, you know what? It, it's just, to me, is like, I, I like black and red. I'm dark. I'm a dark guy. I like everything dark, and I, why am I want to get all you know a, a, a bunch of you know colors? So what about you, Bill? You got a lot of color tattoos, right? I've got. I just noticed that one. Oh, shit. That one. Yeah. Yep. And then I've got Celtic cross. For those of you who can't see. Right? Yep. Sorry. Is it cross um, cross cross? It's a Celtic cross. Yeah. Oh, I'm thinking about the the band. Well, um, I don't. I've got a clown. On my ankle, I've got Frank Zappa's mustache and beard. Oh, shit. What do you get that, that at? Which, the clown or the mustache? The Frank Zappa one. The, I, the mustache. I, that I, is an awesome idea. How did you come? The fan of or this? Uh, it came to me in a dream. <laughs> uh, and actually, my old roommate's sister uh, did it for me in this house in unincorporated Springfield, Illinois. I was on a dirty mattress in like a machine shed. and Did she have a gun or did she do it like pen and ink? Uh, she had a gun. Okay. And she wanted to be a tattoo artist, so she ordered one. And she'd been practicing on, like, the practice skins. Yeah. And she's like, this isn't good. I need some, like, real, you know, flesh. So my roommate and I volunteered. So he got, like, a Digimon logo on his left breast over here. Or some little icon from Digimon. And I got the mustache and soul patch. And then that's when I was, like, 17, 18. And, like, three years later, I think I was, like, 2021, 20, went to Chi-Town Tattoo, and I was like, can you redo this and fill this in? They're like, yeah, 50 bucks. I was like, cool. Yeah. What uh, What about you, John? No, I don't have any uh tattoos. I mean, what would you get if you had to? Um, Thug Life? <laughs> no, no, I don't think I don't think that's me. Um, we I could get thinking, matching teardrops. That was one thing I was thinking, actually. Yeah. On your Te- teardrops, you? yeah, teardrops, yeah. Oh. yeah. Um, I, maybe a, a fisherman too. Ooh, yeah. for less. John the fisherman. Uh, n- no, not for that, but for oh, other reasons. I really thought it was because of Primus. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> o- other reasons, but yeah, it's yeah. I I love fishing too, so. Oh, okay. You know, another thing I always thought about a, a lot of big people with tattoos goes against for some reason. I want to put, you know, somewhere in my body, cancer free when I got it out. Big until, people get that? People don't want to say, don't, don't put cancer free the day until now. 
Yeah. I was going to... Well, that means for, something to me, but people would say that's you, if you get it back. It's like, I don't, I'm don't. i not thinking about that. Yeah, I know. I, what I do you think you, about that? You think that it has a good meaning? Well, cancer-free? Yeah. It, I mean, yeah, I guess if it, if it like... You know, probably it was a big part of your life. It was. It was, you know, so you were kind of, you were thought of being friends again. I, I, you kind of remember me. You're fucked up, dude.